What is up, everybody? Meriden Gaming here, and we're back for another World of Tanks Tech Tree Tank Showcase and Review. Today we have the Tier 6 American Heavy Tank, the M6. So, to me, this is kind of the starter heavy tank. Like, this is a good one for everyone to get into. It kind of teaches you about angling your armor. Um, it's got a decent gun, a little slow, but that's a heavy tank. Um, but the problem is, you can fight all the way up to Tier 6. It eights since you're a tier six so that's the one downside of it you really have to know the tank well in order to compete with those larger tanks but anyway here we have it right here a lovely little uh, M6 uh, sits up a little high uh, so you can shoot over stuff but because of that you do kind of have this flat plate here on the front even though it is slightly angled um, it's still not the best armor so let's go ahead and take a look at the actual live yeah. Um, you don't have that much pin. I mean, you got some decent pin, 160. But yeah, a lot of tier 6s, especially tier 7s and tier 8s, they can go through any angle. But you do have these side angles here that you can bounce shells. Um, and then you have a little bit more armor here in the, the side around the tracks, but of course they'll track you. But yeah, in the front, yeah, they're, they're going to go through your armor every single time. That's the one downside of this tank. It is a heavy, but it's not a heavy. Um, you can compete with the mediums and whatnot, but other heavy tanks, especially higher tier, you don't stand a chance. You need to stay back a little bit and then uh, try to conserve your hit points until the end when those tanks are, are one shots or maybe two shots, and then use your gun depression to finish them off. Let's go ahead and take a look at the comparison. So right now we've got the M6, of course. The other American heavy tank, the Pollack, now this one's a little bit different. Um, it actually does have some decent armor. Uh, the KV-1S from the Russian line, uh, the German VK-3601, which I believe this is the one that goes towards the mouse, and then this is the one that goes towards the rear turreted heavy tanks, the VK-3001P. Now I have to say, this is what I see on the North American server, maybe different where you're at. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So DPM, it's kind of in the middle. It's not great. It's not bad. Um, the one downside to this tank is the reload time, uh, although it's better than the Pollack, of course. Um, but that is where it loses to the other tanks. They can shoot you probably one more time. Um, after about you know seven shots, they can hit you one more time. Then you can hit them. So of course, at, by that point, you'd be dead anyway. But yeah, but where it does shine, penetration. So of course this is with the best gun on the tank. The penetration on this gun gives you an extra 10 or 15 more penetration than uh, all his counterparts for the most part. Now, of course the Pollack has the same gun, um, so that does you know make a difference. Um, and then 240 Alpha. So you're doing a lot more than the KV-1S. Um, in fact, that's what 80 more and then 20 more than the other two. So it kind of makes up for the fire rate with the gun penetration and damage. So that's where you have to make your shots count. If you can make your shots count, then you can trade with these other guys a little bit. All right, shell velocity, pretty good. Uh, not as good as the Pollack, but better than the its other counterparts. Um, so you don't have to leave quite as much, but still 853 is pretty slow. So at longer ranges, this thing is very difficult to hit with um, trying to lead those targets. Ammo capacity, 52. Plenty. You can take you know ammo of every single type uh, with you, HE, AP, and I believe it's APCR. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, no. Yeah, APCR. So cool. And that does give you two, was it 240. Now I just lost my train of thought. Yeah, uh, 243 penetration. So that allows you to trade with those tier 8s um, if you place your shots well. All right, now we get down to uh, the aim time. So it has the best aim time compared to the other ones. Uh, well, it's on par with the, these two, but it's better than these. So you can um, definitely get your shots in there. I really like having it below uh, 2.0, but... It's not too bad, especially since you're going to be semi-brawling with it. Um, but then it comes into play, like I said, it's it's a brawler, kind of. 
0.36, not great. I mean, this is not an accurate tank. It's better than the Polak. It's on par with these two, but still, you're not going to be sniping at long range with... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? You're not going to connect with every shot. You can still hit a few times, but a well-placed pinpoint shot, you're not going to have that with 0.36. You need to be under that for sure. You want, you want to be under at least 0.30, if not closer to 0.2. Then we get down to, yeah, the gun depression. The typical American, other than the Pollock, because it's got a weird turret, and the gun doesn't move. 10 degrees of gun depression. That's right, you can shoot down on people all day long. And then uh, 30 elevation, so you can shoot up at stuff, or if you're backing up a hill, you can still shoot at stuff, but that's at ground level. So definitely have to make use of the gun depression with this tank, especially facing tier 8s. Speed. Yeah, this is this is your problem right here. This is something we would have to address. I definitely put a turbo on mine. Um, although another option is the uh, whatever the thing gives you better armor or more health. I mean, um, just because yeah, like I said, you're gonna face tier seven tier eights quite often. Um, this is definitely the hardest part. You have to pick your spot well in order to not get caught out because it's also got a very slow reverse speed. Yeah, that's why I throw a turbo on it. Other than that, engine power, really good. I mean, look at this. It is 400 or almost 400 over this and then well more over well more than 400 over the VK3601. Yeah. So that means it can get up those hills. That's always a good thing. Although it's relative, is oh, because of the weight. It's got a horrible weight. Yeah, so it can't really, it, it can kind of get up hills, but it's not the best. All right, then we get down to armor. Yeah, other than the Pollack, which I have to admit is kind of a strange duck. It has really weird angles and can take a lot of shots, though not from tier 8s. This thing can still, I mean, 101 at tier 6 looks pretty good. It's not. It's not at all. Medium tanks are going to go through you. And then we get down to view range. Yeah, it's horrible. You're not going to uh, spot for yourself unless you threw optics on. But that's kind of a waste for a heavy tank. So what would we do as far as equipment and skills? Um, definitely going to be wanting Brothers in Arms. Of course, we're going to be throwing camouflage on. Um... What else do we want? Uh, definitely, you're going to need Smooth Ride because of that 0.36. And then we need uh, Traverse Speed is always good with Clutch Braking. And then Snapshot, you definitely want to have those at a minimum. Um, of course, you're also going to eventually want to try to get uh, repairs on all your uh, crew members. Just because that's the one problem with heavy tanks, people will track you and you'll get stuck getting shot at multiple. Uh, I almost, there's a lot of times where I forego everything else and go with all repairs starting off just to prevent getting tracked. Or, or you get tracked, but you repair it faster. Um, so that is definitely a, a, something else you want to look into. And then eventually, if you use this tank a lot, key range is always a good thing uh, if you've got the slots for it. But as far as this goes, I would say the things that we really want are going to be probably vents. Definitely want to, oh, no, nope, not that. We need a turbo, because uh, that will definitely increase our speed. And then the gun rammer to give us that little bit of extra edge to where we can compete with those other players. Um, you could probably go with either a rotational device or, um, where's the other thing? There's a stabilizer in here. Or no, stabilizer isn't at tier 6, is it? Um, so yeah, rotational device is another option if you don't really want to use the turbo. So if those are the two setups I would go with. And let's say if we if we forego the turbo, let's see what does that give us. That gives us a reload time of 6.25. That's much closer. Actually, it's better. A lot of the other stuff. So there you go. One problem solved. Uh, of course, that's not going to show any difference. Of course, this also, that 6.25 also takes into account the Brothers in Arms. Um, 
dispersion 0.35 so we came down a point there uh, I believe that's the only stats that would have changed and the view range came up a little bit just because of the brothers in arms um, and then let's go ahead and take a look if we threw on well hold on so speed now 35 and speed with a turbo would be 39 so that's much closer to the other ones that's why I tend to throw a turbo on this thing gives you just that little bit of extra boost and then 12 backwards which is you know on par of the DK uh, 3001P so anyway let's go ahead and get to the replay alright so we have a death rattler here in his M6 and I can never remember the name of this thing Lakeville that's right let's go ahead and take a look my camera has been really weird oh here it goes now it's finally taking effect because like I'm trying to let him control it but it's not really because like you can see him moving his turret maybe it is okay here we go so he's going to go down that um, down the valley they really only have one heavy now I have not watched this so, but it's he said it was a carry game in his description so we'll see how that goes they only have one heavy going city they've got quite a few people lined up valley that's usually not a great idea typically you only want a couple well I would say at least a heavy and a medium or maybe two heavies depending on how they stack up oh missed that shot and took one. Oh, oh yeah see look at that three shots in on him he's already at almost half health uh, but then you want a, a backup TD and then of course at least one of the party there you go nice little accurate shot right into that Tiger 1 can you do it again? oh didn't reload quite in time see that's what I'm talking about it's got just a slightly too long of a reload for follow-up shots see if I were him I would line up slightly behind that Tiger well he'd probably be too far down the hill try to sneak a shot in there Keep that thing off, see if he is the arty or something. Oh, nope, he repaired. Another great shot. Got that, uh, whatever you call it. Sorry about that. Oh, hold on. Let me get myself in. With that. My dog has allergies, so don't want him hacking on <laughs> the recording. Oh, didn't quite get that shot in there quite right. That one will go through that front plate, of course. Yeah, see, this is pretty accurate at this range. It's about the range you want to be at. He's got to poke yourself just right to where you don't get hit. You try a snapshot there, see. You do have to be accurate with your shots. For sure. Against those tier 7s. You definitely have to place your shots well. If he was spacing tier 8s, you'd have to place your shots even better. Of course, then you leave yourself out there a little bit too long to get hit. So, it's kind of a trade-off. Uh, it looks like they're still doing okay in the city. They've still got the one heavy there, but that OI and the CS44 are going to give his KV-3 a run for its money. Uh, they do have a few. Oh, there went their light. They've got a few of the uh, what do you want to call them? TDs in the back backing them up, though. They are having an issue with that center line. they got that AT-7 coming down. So they could get caught from behind. Alright. Let's go do 
what's he going to do? They better... Oh, see, there went KV-3. The he took another shot from that, but he finished him off. That's still not a great trade because he is now quite low on hit points. And they really haven't... They haven't dealt with the TDs in the back. Although, with that VZ moving out like that, he should have been hit. So maybe... Oh, yeah, he was hit. I was going to say, maybe the... Yeah, don't bump people. That's just rude. Okay, they dealt with that AT, finally. The Dicker Max turned into care of that. But they, they lost the city completely. Start withdrawal. Yeah, see, that VC's being a little bit too aggressive. You can't push out there in front. You really need to let them come up the hill at you. If you're playing this side, from the other side, you want them, you want this team to come down the hill. You gotta pick your shots. Let them come to you. That's the problem. Is when you go out there on top, you've got all those TDs in the back, and multiple guys waiting around that corner. Still doing okay though. They, it's still five to five. Buddy here, Death Rattler's got 1,500 damage basically. Not too bad. Especially not for a tier 6. Um, 2 to 3,000 is usually max that I've, well, that I, that I have ever gotten. I don't know about really good players. I'm sure really good players can wipe out half the enemy team or better and have, you know, 10,000 damage or something. I don't know what the max health pool will see. Each of them has around a thousand. Yeah, it'd be about 10,000 damage for everyone on per side, I would think, if it was all tier 6. Because the lights, of course, and the mediums are going to have less HP. Alright, so now what do you do? Oh, oh, there goes the Z25. Oh, there goes their other one that was going down the center. Big V. Now they're. Now, STRV is trying to light up the Digger Max and the, the other TD that I can't see the name of right now. Uh, is that the Achilles, I think? And he's trying to light them up so their artillery and, and stuff in the back can hit them. Withdraw from that position! Yeah, do not go up there. Do not go up. Yeah, that's the problem. Tell your teammates to. You no, know, hey, don't move up there, and but then they do it anyway. He wants to try to get his shot in. Yeah, I guess he's trying to spot. The, the problem they're going to have is there may be something moving down. Oh, they finally killed that STRV. Here's the OI. See, that's why I was wondering where that OI went. I was wondering if he might have tried to go down the center or something. Not a great idea with a heavy, but, you know, sometimes. Oh, there you go. Nice arty shot. Oh, very good shot. See, that's where that penetration comes in, because those OI are pretty tanky. Haha. <laughs> hey, you gotta hit in those little turrets in the front. That, that's the weak spots. Nice, nice, nice. Already two kills. 1800 damage, so. The other guy just checked. He sees that they have all three. Do not go over the hill. Please don't go over the hill. Okay, so they got a problem here. That M44, I guess the M44 is trying to spot for them. Yeah, see, you can't be there. And that, that center line is just prime for Artie's hits. Back up, so let, let this guy come back to cover. Oh, what just died? The T-32, or the Achilles destroyed the enemy T-32, but their T-32, <laughs> they traded. Both Achilles killed the T-32s. So 9 to 8, they're still up tank-wise, but they're down HP. So yeah, what they really have to do is try to figure out some way to deal with that Achilles in the center, which will allow the Cromwell and the Digger Max to come in from behind. Stop your advance. They're basically just trying to stall the enemy here. So 
except the Achilles finished off the Cromwell. So 99. Nice, very nice. Dicker Max finished off the Achilles. Kind of wondering if that M44 is out of ammo, possibly. And moving up. Oh nope. Now they're backing up. Are they gonna try to go around the far side, maybe? We got five minutes, plenty of time. Seeing where the already's coming from. He's finally moving up, seeing if he can see. Oh, 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 look, there's a guy not looking. Nice, tracked him, someone else hit him. Oh, nope, nope, nope. And he managed to get away. Alright, so they know where that's at. They still have that KV 8 and the Tiger, which they probably would have seen move off, I would think considering where that uh, BZ was. Hey, you got that artillery still in the back. Both those M44s, those those are annoying. Not really... I've not really used the M44 that much, even though I do like artillery. Actually, I unlocked the Tier 9 UK one. I just don't have the credits. That's over them right now. I'm trying to get credits so I can play all these different things. Okay. If they could finish off a nice shot, already finishing off the Tiger P. So now it's, uh, yeah. With a three on two position. situation right or a three on one situation right here. Oh, nicely done. Oh, Tiger's down to 18 and 106. See, this is a really good game. They've got it down. Yeah, it's just the two M44s. And that VK. Now, see, he should not. Or, right, no, he would have been spotted, wouldn't he? Yeah, he's only got two of those left. Yeah, they, they need to move, because that already's going to keep pounding that one spot at this point. So he's got to figure out where this medium is at. And then hopefully the Dicker Max will come and back him up. Now the question is, where is the medium? Yep, right there. The yeah, the medium was waiting for the Dicker Max. He should be able to shoot him before... Fish off four. Yep, there you go. Nicely done. Now everyone should be able to move in easily and deal. I don't think the M44s should be able to one shot him. Uh, yeah, I would say I would turn and fire at that one first to be able to move behind the hill. And you can tank a shot. So unless it ammo racks you. I don't think that's got enough power. Yep, it was taking too long to reload. So there you go! Alright, let's pause that. Let's see, he's got 5 kills, 2700 damage with 38 assistance, because he tracked somebody, uh, went through all his, uh, his uh, gold ammo. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the stats of the game. Let's switch back over to our web browser so yeah oh look at that ace tanker right off the bat he also got a Piscucci's medal for doing for dealing with the two SBGs total of yeah five kills 2700 damage uh, six uh, tracking and whatnot probably more than just tracking but that's typically what you get and then he was the first to spot three of those tanks so yeah not a bad deal so as you can see as long as you play smart with this tank, you can definitely make it work, but he did take a few shots really early there that I was like, uh-oh, is this going to end faster than I thought? But nope, he managed to pull it out. Anyway, this is Murdy Gaming. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you on the battlefield.